First, a story that's shaken the college town of Nacogdoches. A black SFA student and her family are demanding a wrong to be made right after the student's roommates and another group of girls whom are white lied about her attempting to physically assault them with scissors. Campus police were called to Christian Evans' dorm after the claim. She says they barged into her dorm room while she was asleep with their guns drawn. She's not the only one seeking answers from the university because of the incident. Some SFA students are as well. And that's where we find our Chloe Bradford with students' reaction. Students say the information given by campus administrators is not enough. They're questioning what really happened inside of Lumberjack Landing two weeks ago and why they're just learning about a potential racially driven incident now. We were all confused. We were assuming it happened like last night, but then to find out it happened two weeks ago, it made us all sick because like who knows if we're walking by like those girls who had uh, made the police call. Swatting. It's what 17 year old Kristen Evans's family is claiming after they say students lied to the university's police all in an attempt to harass her. According to Stephen F. Austin State University on September 14th, Evans, a black student, woke up to campus police inside her dorm room around 3 a.m. with guns drawn because a group of white girls, including her roommate, falsely accused her of threatening to stab someone with scissors. Students say in light of the social outcry against police brutality and specifically Breonna Taylor's death, campus administrators could have handled the incident in a different manner. I just feel like it's very insensitive, you know, I feel like they could have went a different route. You know, even if it was, even if Black Lives Matter, you know, wasn't trending, I just feel like it was very insensitive to go um, the route that they did. Like that could have been a danger to us or like if those people are out there just saying things like that, I feel like we should have been aware. There was still really no details to really understand like what happened, um, what's going on out, the measures that are being taken to make sure it's prevented, it doesn't happen again, and then to make sure that the people involved, you know, are reprimanded correctly. We'd want to know like the day of it happened or like two days after, but not two weeks. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's our right to know some of the details and what the school will do for this horrible situation. All of the students I spoke to today on and off camera say what allegedly happened inside of Lumberjack Landing could have been avoided. And all of them say they have never themselves or known anyone else who's had a racist experience with campus police. We've got you covered, Nacogdoches. Chloe Bradford, CBS 19. SFA is holding a press conference tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. at the Fredonia Hotel to address that incident. We'll have complete coverage right here and on CBS19.tv. Well, tonight